hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss coffee here and today we're back with another artist highlight now this particular artist is another one of the folks from over on twitch that i've had the pleasure of meeting um i was actually in my live stream this past friday and uh we got raided by a creator named badger makes and badger makes was doing some adult coloring on their stream and they said that they had just purchased this book and i was like hold up wait where'd you get that book <laughs> so i went over to amazon right on stream and bought it the problem was i doxed myself so you will not find the replay of that video because i showed my address <laughs> <laughs> but I very quickly went to go pick this up because the pages in it looked adorable and I thought you guys would love to see it. Now, again, this creator is uh, an art creator over on Twitch and their name is Celestial Bean. So if you would like to check them out, I will leave their Twitch handle and their Instagram down in the description box of this video. I will also leave a link to this particular book in the, the description box as well. So let's get into it. And it's called Best Beans Coloring Book. And you guys already know, I call my folks the coffee beans, so I had to I had to get it, I had to. So this is the first time I'm looking in it, so I'm looking in it for the first time with you guys. One of the reasons why I like this is because it has like a lot of repetitive patterns. This book is a, a great for both children and adults because of some of the imagery in the book. So let's take a look. I only saw like one or two pages that the lady had, uh, Badger makes had colored. So uh, yeah, and of course this book belongs to, look at the little adorable characters. How could you not love this? How could you not? This book is dedicated to my mother, Jennifer. Aw, rest well, dear lady. And it has like a little, it looks like it has like a signature down here at the bottom. That is beautiful. Many condolences for her and her mother. It looks like she passed away last year. And it looks like it's just like a little space explorer book. It has some words in it. Hi, I'm Bean. I'm a space explorer. And I won't read everything out to you. You can get the book to read out these pages to yourself or to maybe if you have little ones. I just love how there's not a lot of intricate detail that needs to be colored. So a lot of bold colors can be used in this book. A lot of kawaii figures like this one here. And it's a space themed coloring book. Obviously you can see from all the space stuff. It tells a little story, which we love to see. I love the fact that the back of the pages are blank so that when you go to color in the book, make sure you put down something in between the pages. So if you're using markers that they don't bleed onto the next page, which is why they tend to leave that back cover or that back page blank is so that when it does bleed out, it doesn't ruin like another image. We have this one here with a little bit of dots with the stippling. Oh, it's got science in here. Science is another creative over on Twitch as well. Best beans love learning with science. <laughs> science is like I said they're another creative on Twitch I don't think they're an artist they talk about science obviously um and they just had like a little baby they just had a baby so that's cool that they included them into this book we got space camps like we're uh lifting weights over here But I love, I love how this is done. It's simplistic, but it gives you plenty to do. There's a little mush bean, looks like. Is that Ari bean? <laughs> we got, it looks like we got some, a space kitty maybe. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh. Looks like there's one of those worms from Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh my god, and I love like the little gems here at the bottom. What are those things called at the top of ca um of caves? I can't remember. They're like eight acrolytes or something like that. I can't. If you know, put it put it down in the comments. What what the name of those things are? I can't. I I know it, but I don't. I can't get it out of my head. Oh, that was like Princess PJs. Another art creative over on Twitch. This was the page that I saw Badger make color. And it has like the little kawaii clouds and kawaii eyes for the uh, star up there. 
And look at the little bean down here at the bottom just chilling out. This looks like Rainbow Bright. <laughs> and that's what uh, Badger Makes, I think, colored it as. So it was super cute. I want to say she added a few creatives into her book, which was really a cool idea. Um, because this somewhat looks familiar, but I'm not sure if it's that person. <laughs> Look how cute. Look at the little, look at the little frog butt. Look at the little frog butt. <laughs> this is so cute. Let there be nuggets. <laughs> Again, this book is great for any, any age, whether you be an adult or if you have children that you would like to get it for. Um, it has plenty to do, but not a lot that it's overwhelming. This is going to be my favorite page right here. We got snacks. Got to love to have the snacks. Now, a lot of the times, if I can't buy an art print off of a creative, the next best thing you can do is buy something if they have like a coloring book or if they sell stickers or something like that. That's another great way that you can support the artists, especially those folks over on Twitch that are just trying to get their name out there, show you their process and maybe connect with you on a better level than just, hey, here's some stuff, buy it. So I love the fact that a lot of the creatives are coming out with prints and stickers and merch and even adult coloring books or just coloring books in general oh boy the pizza wizard <laughs> the pizza wizard look at the little ham i think these are mushrooms i think and we have pineapple and we have onions you're the pizza wizard now design your pizza tag us Tag it to show us what you made. Best Bean Book Celestial Bean Art. And they're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Or is that, that Twitch? I'm going to... No, that's not the Twitch symbol. That's that Tumblr? I think that's Tumblr. This is the inside of my ship. When I'm not tracking down signals, I like to chill in the hollow deck. Let's go. Look at the little, little thing up here. How cute is this book? So again, if you have children, grandkids, if you yourself like coloring images that aren't super detailed, this might be a great book for you to check out. I love the binary code on the computer. Got a little, we got the flip phone. Let's go with the flip phone. A little hot dog. Is this a, is this Nintendo 64? <laughs> Pew! We got the finger guns. <laughs> We got, we got the finger guns over here. We got the kawaii um, items in the, the picture. So we got the cactus and the cloud and whatever. Is this is this a sandworm? I swear, this is the thing from Beetlejuice. Look, it has another one coming out of its mouth. I'm going to have to ask Celestial Bean if that's a sandworm. Is your art influenced by Beetlejuice? <laughs> We're surfing. I see cherries. The way my watch is sticking to my desk right now. Oh, they're taking Bean and Bloppy Boy take on the Ham Empire. Let's go. <laughs> this is freaking adorable. And it looks like you have a blank page here. And it says, thank you for tuning in. Maybe I'll see you around the next galaxy sometime. This is Bean signing off, ending broadcast. That is so freaking cute. Hi, I'm Bean. Thank you so much for checking my book. It really means the world to me. Stay cool and be nice to yourselves, my dudes. Oh, dudes. Moi. As in, like, kissing. Not, don't mind me. I'm slow. All right. So... It gives you a, a, oh, okay, here we go. So it gives you a list of uh, folks from, I'm going to guess these folks are from over on Twitch, and it tells you what page they're on. And I, Princess PJ's, page 11. I swear the lady who's singing that was Princess, P yep, it was Princess PJ's. That is really cool that she added this into the back of the book. So I'm going to guess that if not all of these or some of these might be possible other artists or just creators over on Twitch and it tells you which page it was inspired by each creative. That's an amazing idea. Spice Illustrations. Sponsor page five. 
Okay, yeah, because I remember that science. And I'm trying to figure out where spice illustrations would be at in this image. Maybe the sun. But I think that was a great thing to add into the book. And these, again, might be other creatives over on Twitch. Some of them are, some of them might not be. Bonus pages, let's go. An axolotl. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I'm feral. I need, I need this colored. You know what? We're going to color it. We're going to color it real quick. Because what did I tell y'all about Maggie? Didn't I tell you that girl, Farrell? All right. So we're going to color that page real quick. Give me 30 seconds. All right. So I got a couple of pieces of cardstock behind that image. We're going to see how much the page bleeds. Um, I'm just going to work on this little doodle right here just because this reminds me of my daughter. And oh my God, I have to. So I'm going to work on this. I'm going to time lapse it for you guys. And then we'll call it there. Um, so yeah, go, go, go to the time lapse. Go to the time lapse. There you have it. I had to color the little axolotl because that's freaking adorable. So, <laughs> again, we have the I'm Feral. That's Maggie. <laughs> and then we have the cute little axolotl. It holds colors really well. It colors really smooth. It did bleed out a little bit. So you want to make sure that you do have something behind it so that it doesn't damage the paperwork. And I have, this is cardstock behind it. And it only went through one page. And I have several pages here. So it doesn't hold colors to the point where you don't need something underneath it. So make sure that if you're going to color in the actual book that you have something underneath it. If you're going to copy it, make sure you copy it on a good cardstock. Um, I will link some cardstock down below if, if that's something you might be interested in. But with that that is it for me today this book is absolutely adorable and again if you like to do adult coloring but you don't like a lot of details in your colorings or if you have kids or grandkids this book is great for any age so you guys go check out this book bean best bean coloring book from celestial bean and again i will link her uh or i will link their instagram their twitch down in the description box of this video i will also link where i got the book on amazon as well so with that said i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions comments or concerns about this book leave them down in the comment section below and i'll do my best to get back to you as soon as i possibly can but with that said please remember to stay safe out here in these crafty streets wear a mask wash your hands don't touch your face in public that's gross keep your six feet and always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always Always stay cool. Bye, guys.